So I had my Iceland delivery, it was 20 past six, and unfortunately I will not be doing an Iceland haul. Um, as I said, here's all my shop and it was just quite early. I had a six to eight slot, um, but I'm sorry, but um, a lot of it was repeat buys anyway, so I just thought I'd just film this little bit. Um, today, I've got a list of things I want to do, um, like I wanted to change the bedding on the main bed and I've gone for this plain grey checked um, and I've also bought in this arrangement. Um, this was actually one of the arrangements of our son and now daughter-in-law's wedding I've changed out this canvas and put this autumn one up that has been like in the dining room and the lounge and everything I wasn't going to put it up but I thought I'd try and see what it was like here these are the pillowcases I got from HomeSense instead of buying a full lot of um, bedding I thought I'd do this this is thinking out the box these are actually the um, sort of bags that bedding would come in this beanie um bear halloween i got i think it was actually off a car boot a few years ago and then i got that hello pumpkin that i've left up there so um like i was saying these um are the covers i've had the fleece bedding in and you can think out the box i was thinking about possibly putting a felt um sort of ghost face on there um i haven't really done much different here i've added a squirrel and everything but i'm really pleased with this arrangement but during this day it was sort of um putting pieces around our home changing things out a little bit um transitioning into halloween now this is the packaging from home sense like i said it was 4.99 um it was in a haul and i thought this was a good idea um rather than changing um a full bed set you know buying another bed set and it saves room now i apologize this footage was from about a week ago um this is the doll that i purchased um with some birthday money for our granddaughter um when we was in corby um on one of our weekends away she's had quite a lot of of Barbie stuff for her birthday. This footage was actually taken before her birthday and these are the cards. I have shared these um, quite a while ago and I've picked these out. Um, these are cards I've actually made myself so I thought I would include these and show you. I have not bought a card for so many years now. I've made them all and I do actually enjoy it. Um, we've got a Winnie the Pooh one here. Um, this is from our youngest son to his niece. And I've added these Winnie the Pooh stickers. She used, she's still mad on Disney, actually, and Winnie the Pooh. This one was from um, me and Grandpa. Um, she's well into unicorns. Um, so I thought I would include this one. And I say sometimes I do decorate inside of the cards. Just that little bit of extra. It doesn't always happen, but I try and appreciate it. This footage was outside Smith's in the car park, believe it or not. So I just like to um, sort of share what we purchased. Um, we got this set. Um, I think it might have been 24.99 I, I haven't got the receipt in front of me and to make a money up we bought the moped and I think that was an offer for 7.99 so I didn't do an Iceland haul I say a lot of it was repeat buys um but what I thought I would do is I've got um sort of sweets and chocolate um things 
Um, I think most of this is actually for Christmas. I'm really late off the mark getting my Christmas stuff in. Normally I start as soon as we get into September, getting non-perishable stuff, socking up the freezer and everything, but it's just not happened. I think it was trying to keep it on budget as well. Um, but I will include this um, because a lot of my shopping was repeat buys, like I said. So the first thing, um, a debt crash if I get any prices wrong, and I'll try and, I've got a little bit of a conversation after this bit um, to explain <laughs> why my videos might be a bit hiccupty piggledy But anyway, so I've got this um, Peppa Pig, and this is the Avent Calendar, and um, this was a pound. Um, normally I leave it to the parents, but I thought I'd get one anyway. Um, as you can see from that footage um, in the car park at Smith's, um, she actually had a lot of Barbie stuff for her birthday. This is after her birthday now. And she went to Peppa Pig World, I understand, for her birthday and they stayed overnight. So um, yeah. So this is the advent calendar that was a pound. Um, some of these things will be for stockings and um, some um, like this I normally include in our granddaughter's um, Christmas Eve box. The Festive Friends by Cadbury, the Little Biscuits and these were a pound and I thought these were pretty good actually. I don't know what it is, right from a young age, um, she likes anything in a box and she's pretty good actually. She loves her Ritz biscuits um, and things like that and uh, she's pretty good because she won't eat them all. She'll have a few then close the box and put it down so she's pretty good that way. Um, this wasn't such a, um, a good deal. This is the matchmakers. I normally get a lot of these, um, but I'm going to shop around. I don't know about Poundland and things like that. But these were 125 but I got one box in. Um, I'm going to do some Christmas wrapping and gifts and things like that. Um, as you know, if you've seen my previous videos, I like to cover this these sort of things in red paper. And then I put black ribbon on and a little buckle, and it looks like... Um, Santa suit sort of thing and I tend to have a few of these um, available anyway for guests and everything so that's the matchmakers and they were 125 so I say normally I pay a pound um, yeah these sometimes can go up I paid a pound for their Terry's chocolate orange um, these set for the Peppa Pig um, advent calendar a lot of these are things I purchase anyway for Christmas and I like to get all the different um, Terry's chocolate orange I don't know what it is um, I think it's from um, probably when I was younger you know younger little um, there's certain things that just bring memories up and I think the chocolate orange is one of them. Um, we don't tend to do it because um, my family, um, hubby, set for peanuts and honey roasted and things like that and, and my son's not keen on nuts anyway. I always remember my, um, my dad and my granddad, you know, sitting there with the nuts and the nutcrackers and everything and things like that. Well, I suppose it's a bit laziness. Um, I did used to start getting the stuff already, the nuts, you know, because I'm guests, um, already, you know, so you haven't got crack nuts and everything. I know one Christmas, I think just after we got married, I wanted to keep the tradition going sort of thing, and I did actually have to go out buying nutcrackers. Um, but again, it was like the older generation, my dad and that, were the ones that enjoyed that um, more than the younger ones. I think we just like them already. But I tend to go for more like coated peanuts and um, yogurt. Is it yogurt? Yeah, yogurt covered, like cranberries and things like that now. But yeah, chocolate orange is one of the things I'm rabbiting on here, but that's just, just one of the stories, do you know what I mean? Dates was another thing. Um, I quite like dates. I haven't bought them in absolute years, but it's one of those things that obviously um, memories. So these are the sherbet lemons. Um, these were a pound. It's the 
said um these might be more for halloween um hopefully i will share i'm going to do like a little sweet shop type thing these are definitely for christmas i get these every year now jelly baby snowman i just think they are so sweet with the packaging things like that um then got the milky bar festive friends these are for our granddaughter these were a pound like i said then we've got the chubba chops um like a, a lolly and everything um these are for christmas not halloween because i've got some halloween ones some sour ones and then i have got for hubby i've got the skittles giants these were also a pound so these a lot of these things are like for stockings and that and then for a granddaughter these are 60 pence each but you buy two for a pound um some things are better value than others but i tend to buy these anyway these are actually the mint ones um these are Maltese reindeers and like i said you save what um 20 pence yeah because i think they were 60p each and these were two for a pound because i like to you know just put those in a stocking i like to buy these sort of things and put them in mugs and things like that i'm going to try and do some mug ideas as well gifts and you know at different um sort of prices and i'm going to try and get those out as quick as i can you know because everybody everything's gone up so everybody's budgeting now um I'm going to make an apology. I know I shouldn't, but my videos are going to be a bit pickle pickety and a little bit um, disjointed, if that's, if that's the term. I am really tired at the moment. You probably can tell. I, I've got my pyjamas on. I've had a bath and everything. Um, I've had quite a few appointments. I've had my blood pressure taken. Um, I had a text message about that and that's slightly high but it's it, nothing to consider you know to, i can't spit my words out you can tell it i'm drained um too high um it's been higher i do take medication so i'm just staying calm um i'm still getting over i had flu <laughs> flu injection in one arm and then my b12 in the other so my arms feel um leaded i haven't exactly been ill as such um but it's just slowed me down um follow my flu um sorry my um booster for covid um we both had those me and hubby um except for a sore arm hubby was fine i developed quite a bad cough it wasn't constant mostly when i lay down and i did take two home tests and they were negative um so you know it just happened but it wasn't constant it was if i was moving around really quickly or um especially when i laid down so it sort of drained me so i did dose up on medication for the cough as well um and today's video i didn't show it but i did all my basics at least that was something i'm one of those people i like to get my basics done but i did a little bit of totting around i didn't share it because i'm trans transition out of autumn but i haven't actually put all my autumn decor away and bought out some halloween now this is the two boxes i had autumn and stroke autumn halloween and i bought a lot of um pumpkins and everything and um, you'll see that hopefully coming up in the video of halloween i haven't gone full halloween out this year just for the fact that we are away um the weekend at the farm leading up to halloween so i'm not having a halloween party or anything like that we're also or sh should i say i'm looking after our granddaughter for half term i've also got physio appointment um coming up and i've also got um you know an injection my second injection in my left eye so i'm trying to keep just on top of everything doing my basics totting around my home um because sometimes i'm very achy after physio and uh, usually i'm um a bit off a couple of days after i have my um injection in my left eye and things like that and i can't do things like swimming or um, i can't do things like dusting 
um, gardening and everything like that because I have to protect my um, left eye so just particles and everything don't go into it but I am here and I'm sorry if I might miss the odd day some videos will be clumped together again might be a little bit hickety pickety I do apologize and um, yeah if um, like I did a video here and the lighting wasn't brilliant well I thought it was okay um, and um, I didn't put the light on it was quite sunny so I had a lot of light coming from the window um, in our door um, so it, it seemed very foggy and I did apologize to this person um, but I'm trying to not use my electricity that much if you know what I mean so yeah sometimes I say at the beginning of the video or at the end or put a comment in the description if I feel the volume's not right or the light I haven't really got any special lighting I have got a stand with a light but and I purchased that I think it was something like 20 pounds from B&M and I've got my phone on but I don't always have the light on but I think this is a decent light and this is at the back doorway so you probably see this quite a lot especially coming into the winter months um, but I just wanted to sort of fill you in, um, you know, if I get my words wrong or anything, because, you know, when, when you don't sleep very well, I'm being positive here, um, and we're coming into the winter, and I do tend to have the winter blues, do they call it sad or something, and after years of it, um, waiting to be tested and everything, and yeah, um, short on vitamin D, so yeah have to make sure i take that all through um now i'm gonna have another blood test in a couple of months um to see how that's going so i think that's about it and again i do apologize it i know a lot of people say to me or subscribers or people who visit and i do appreciate all the feedback and the support and everything um, I'm not ill I'm just sort of lacking in energy and everything um, now I've had my b12 it just perk up a bit I always feel a bit um, slow and everything and achy leading up to that um, injection I don't know what it is I don't I've never smoked I don't drink I feel as though I'm quite healthy but I'm just one of those people who seem to get everything do you know what I mean and I try and be as healthy as I can but there you go isn't it it's just one of those things so I probably because I haven't got any form of notes or anything I'm um, just doing it off the top of my head I am going to wrap this video up I'm going to try and edit it so it's ready for putting tomorrow um, so yeah I do apologize because um, this particular day you won't be getting a video I don't think because this one's not ready I'm just going to go to bed now um, the rest of the family are in bed already so hopefully you've enjoyed this video thanks for watching goodbye <laughs>